Hello, my name is Ben, and on this YouTube channel, I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today, I'd like to talk about Amazon KDP. If you're just starting with KDP and you have no idea how to create a book cover, then please stay tuned. I'm going to show you how you can start to create a book cover for free, um, about the first steps that you need to take in order for creating a book cover, and then, you know, to get a finished book cover and to upload it to KDP. So, well, the first step you need to do, you need to get a template from amazon.kdp.amazon.com and you can find the link in the description. So, first of all, you need to decide what kind of book do you want to make. Is it just a, is it a coloring book? Um, is it a light notebook with maybe a few more pages? You need to know how many pages you want and what the size of the book will be. So, let me tell you, a standard size is six by nine inches. So six by nine is one of the um, most popular book sizes um, and normally you get away with it and I'm going to choose that in this example as well. Well, page count, I normally go with 120 to 140 pages. So let's go 140. Now this is very important because the page count determines how um, thick the book will be and therefore the design template that you're going to use will differ as well because the bigger it is, the wider is the um, sort of the back of the book and um, the more pages you have, if you have a thousand page book, this is obviously thicker than a um, hundred page book. For example, you have to chain, um, choose your paper color, white, cream or color. I normally go with white um, and then you click download cover template. What you would get, you will get a zip file with a PDF file um, and a PNG file. And the PNG file can be used in Canva, for example, which is free to use um, as long as you stick with the free um, with the free images or graphics. You can obviously get a subscription and then you can also use the pro graphics and they are perfectly fine to use for um, PO, print, print on demand and KDP. But let's say in this case, we've start downloading it and then I'm going to show you how to do it in can okay so this is the file that you if you open it well we want to extract the png file in this case so this is the png file i'll now open canva and i'm going to show you the next step okay so before you go into canva you actually need to see or understand what the dimensions of this file are so as you can see, if you right click on it and then go to uh, properties, then you can see that the dimensions are 3770 by 2775 pixels. Um, and you need to put this information into Canva when you create your um, template. Now when in Canva, click on create design and then you go to custom size and it was 3770 by 2775 pixels. Yeah, that's important. And then we create a new design. Now what you get is this page here with these dimensions. What we can now do is to upload this template that we have just downloaded from Amazon. Okay, so it's uploading at the moment. I'll click on it and then I can it per should perfectly fit into this area. Yeah, it does. And this is what you can now use to design. Yeah. So this will just be your background for now and you can later delete it. Yeah. So this is very important. So let's just assume I just pick one from here. So let's just assume you put something on here. Um, just assuming this would be your final design now. Okay. Then before you download this design, you want to make sure you delete this. Yeah, because this is not actually what you want to have on your um, on your design. This is just for you to give you an idea where you should not put your image. And it gives you an idea where to, you know, where to center it, for example, because there's no point in having a design like that that you can later upload and then put it in the middle here. But it will then actually be um, on the spine. So there's no point in doing that. So you want to know what is the white area that you can put um, your graphics in, your, your images, and so in order to make it look good in the end. All right, 
So let's just go through what they say. So the black dotted line, which is this line here going around the actual um, the, the book template, this is it's the trim size. So this is where your book will be cut to produce the final trim size. Yeah, the blue dotted line, which is here, is the spine fold. And um, yeah, you shouldn't really put anything there. You can put a text here, a small text, which will then be printed because this is the white area. Yeah. So this could um, again be the title of your book, for example. And then you have the white area, which is called the life area. You can position any logos, text, and essential images in this area. And then you have your right, the red area here, which is actually, um, they call it out of bleed, out of life or bleed. And you need to understand that the background artwork must fill the red area. Yeah. If not, you can get problems because this is sort of the area where they can't guarantee, you know, if it's, uh, if they cut a bit more or a bit less, there's just too much tolerance in the cutting process. And, you know, therefore there's a bit of inaccuracy. So just assuming you have a background and, um, it just goes, you know, just, just touch, touches the red line here and they cut it in a different way. And then you might have an ugly white, um, white line here, which doesn't look good in the finished product. So you want to make sure that any uh, background artwork really fills the red area, but do not place any logos, text, or any essential images in the red area because it could happen that it's cut off. Yeah. So again, if your artwork then doesn't meet the requirements, Amazon might reject it. Okay. So how do you then design it? So you can obviously, oops, you can obviously just pull your stuff in here and add a bit of text here, for example. So you can go to text um, and I just, I don't do a good one now. I just want to show you how to do it. So then you sort of center it here. That's your text. Well, this could be your logo or image or whatever you want to put on it. You want to make sure it's centered and you can also put something um, on this side here as well. Yeah. Which is quite good. And then just assuming you're happy with that. That could be your fin finished um, book design. So this one is not, this video is not about making good design. It's just to show you how you can um, create this book cover. So, and then well, with the help of this template. And then before you actually download the design, again, you want to delete this. And this will be what you will then upload to Amazon KDP as cover. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you save it and I, I think it needs to be a, um, it needs to be a PDF file, so you can convert that. But this is what you will then upload to KDP. So I hope this video was useful. If yes, if you liked it, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. I'd be very grateful about that. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.